It's my feel good breakfast show. And a very good morning. Welcome back onto your feel good breakfast show live on SABC3. Now, a very interesting medical story surfaced recently from Canada. Uh, Melissa Benoit, a 32 year old mother from Toronto, arrived at the hospital with a very bad lung infection. Now, after examination, the doctors learned that she was born with a cystic fibrosis and only had a number of hours to live. They then put her straight onto life support, but her condition seemed to worsen. So they did something remarkable, in fact, incredible. Uh, with nothing to lose and no idea how the out what the outcome would be, they put her under an anesthetic and then removed both of her lungs. And in fact, they managed to keep her alive on life support for a total number of six days while they waited for a lung donor to uh, supply a transplant. And at the, at the end of the day, they managed to get a pair of lungs into her body and save her life. And this is incredible, medical history. This is the first time that anyone has successfully been kept alive for that long with no lungs. And we're on the line right now with our very own Expresso resident, Dr. Darren Green, to try and get an understanding of how exactly this might have worked. Dr. Green, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, before we really get into how this worked, firstly, just explain to us what exactly is a cystic fibrosis and why can it kill someone so quickly? Yes, it's quite a, it's quite a debilitating lung disease. And uh, the big thing about it is that it involves a disorder of the, of the chloride uh, gated ch channels in the body. So what happens essentially is that you have an excess of mucus production in the lungs particularly, but also in the pancreas and in the digestive system. Mm -hmm. So with thickened mucus and excess amounts of mucus that lays you bare and makes you susceptible to recurrent lung infections mm -hmm. and the perfect breeding ground for infections to actually flourish. And that's why it's so difficult to treat. It's a genetic mutation that leads to excess mucus productions in these places. Mm -hmm. And certainly most people are diagnosed by the age of two already. But, uh, you know, up to 75% of people have a median lifespan until the age of 40 nowadays, luckily, due to the interventions of medication and uh, early treatment. So now, having understood that, how is it possible that this lady was kept alive for so long with no lungs in her body? How do you continue to supply the body with oxygen? That just blows our mind, doesn't it? But we've been doing lung transplants for a long time already. But taking out both lungs uh, at the same time and mm -hmm. not having a backup lung to help support with the, what we call the pulmonary pressures as the lung connects to the heart, that's what's quite special here. So what they actually did in this operation is they actually connected an artificial lung mm -hmm. to the heart, uh, which obviously involved then uh, a process of of maintaining the pressure that are required in the, in the cardiovascular system and the drive behind exchanging oxygen in the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. So they're quite remarkable, but you know, circulating oxygenated blood and putting, putting blood back into the body is something we see done during heart transplants, of course, as well. But in this case, what makes it special is both lungs were taken out and all the risks of bleeding and having complications in the thoracic cavity when you take both lungs out are quite, are quite high. Mm. And uh, this lady has done extremely well and it's just blown all of our minds, really. Absolutely incredible stuff. Dr. Darren Green, thank you so, so much for helping us understand this historic day in the world of medicine. And you know, the beautiful thing is that with all the horrible things happening around the world and all of the bad news we hear on a daily basis, hearing medical miracles like this really is a breath of fresh air. And uh, while you're fortunate enough to have those lungs in your body, how about putting them to good use to fuel your entire body with energy for the day? Let's get a workout on, shall we?